there's something that goes off inside of someone before they, they venture out into the world of uh, comedy performing, where they maybe say to themselves, well, I can be funny among my friends. Can I be funny in front of strangers? Let's see. <laughs> Every conversation you have is improvised. So you've been improvising your whole life. You don't know what you're gonna say next. Nobody wrote it down for you, so you can do it. We're all improvising always. all the time. Nobody gets handed a script when they wake up in the mornings. Improv equals life, you know, and like what's good for improv is good for life. I wish everybody did improv. No, but but you know what I mean. So start like, start with that. That's that's just start with that. I mean, that's it. Yeah. I mean, that's it. I don't know the structure of the film, but yeah, I would open with that. Yeah, I mean that was a good. I mean, that's probably I mean, that was perfect. When we're children, we play constantly, non-stop. Then we spend our adolescence and our adult years just forgetting how to play. Uh, just like a large, like a lot of butter, like a lot of butter on it. Okay. Kids, I swear to fucking God. Uh, <laughs> uh, just loaded with butter. No, it's not butter though, right? It's actual I just, oil. We couple can call. Okay, we're, we're under. Kids! Kids, do we want popcorn? Yeah. Rick's an idiot. Do you want the bar? I'm an idiot. Butter it up. Are we crying? Yeah. Are we crying? Yeah. <laughs> the whole reason improv exists is just to teach us how to strip all that away and learn how to play again, just like when we were kids. When you get older, you kind of lose all that. That sense of play. That, yeah. yeah. And so the fact that we can do that and just come up here and have fun and be like, you know what? I want to do a scene tonight where I am a knight in a medieval kingdom. And I can do that. And that's fun. I think there's a lot of facade that goes on in everyone's general life, you know? Yeah. You have to look this certain way, you have to act this certain way. And if you all of a sudden start you know, walking down the street funny, you're gonna garner some looks and people are gonna go, what the fuck is wrong with that guy? When I was five, my grandma brought me to church and they lined us up on stage and they, they warned us. They were like, we're gonna ask you what you want to be when you grow up. And in my head, I was like, teacher, you want to be a teacher, you want to be a teacher. Looking back, I think like, I, I really kind of went into comedy and started doing characters and started doing weird voices when I was playing around with myself. Because I didn't have to be myself, I could be I could be ugly, I could be imperfect, I could be vulnerable, I could be stupid, you know, it was okay to be that. And they said, what do you want to be when you grow up? And I just blanked and I panicked. And for some reason, the words that came out of my mouth were rock star. And I, it, 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 like, there was a huge amount of laughter and I was instantly embarrassed. Um, but then there was something so addictive about, about that laughter that I knew that in some capacity I wanted to be funny for the rest of my life. I have never quite figured out who I want to be when I grow up, and I can be pretty much anyone through improv, and if I'm having a terrible day, I don't have to be me for like 15 minutes, and that's pretty great, and then you like get to reestablish like, yeah, it's actually not so bad being me, because I was just all these characters who were way worse or weirder than I was. Oh, well, we gotta go ahead and play a game here, let's go. All right, well, what are we doing? <laughs> fourth and one. I know what it is. <laughs> Are we running or passing the ball? I can't throw. Like Let's this. just do it off the cuff. Let's go. What play are we doing? <laughs> you can't just do a play. There's something very pure and very, very natural about doing improv. It's capturing the unknown for a moment, but not being able to hold on to it. So it's, you really are able to be um, present, but then have to let it go because you know it's gone. And you can't describe it to anyone. The greatest travesty of improv is trying to tell someone about it. It's not funny to retell. It's like an episode of Seinfeld. Improv, I always feel, is like the sport of the artistic endeavors, and in that you're playing with a team and you have no idea if you're going to win or lose. Uh, you have no idea if you're going to succeed or fail, but you can trust people. So the idea that you can't trust what's going to happen in the show, but you can trust your partners. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, we 
are three feet, and the way this is going to work is one of us will step forward, and uh, you will give a suggestion of a question you would like to know about that person. We are Reagan <laughs> Reagan, and all we need to get started tonight is a suggestion of something you've had a dream about recently. Hello, everybody. We are Switch Committee. To get us started, can we have something weird that makes you happy? Popcorn. Popcorn. Thank you. And it's one of those things where it's a theater where you can constantly take risk, knowing that other people have your back. Improv is, is a mental exercise. I mean, it really, anyone I think who really does hold on to the values or the tenets of improv, uh, you become smarter, more open to everything. I mean, one of the things is treat people like they're geniuses and they'll rise to it, which is, I think, completely true in improv and in life. I think there's not too many things that that I've learned in improv that I can't apply to every aspect of my life. In real life, nobody likes to be told no or judged openly, so those are the core principles so I say of that improv, all right? the time. Fuck you, ugly, <laughs> right? All the time. No. I think it's really easy and defensive for a person to be out in the world and judge every person that you see for being different than you or strange. I am, especially, so steeped in saying no, so steeped in defending my position on stuff, when you say yes to stuff, you see people's face just melt away and they're just willing to, they just love you even more. If I'm in an uh, atmosphere of this guy accepting everything that this guy initiates, what happens? It validate, uh, validates this guy. And when this guy gets validated, he starts having a sense of confidence and building his self-esteem that my instinct, my intuition will be embraced and built upon. That what I have to offer is important. I think it really just opens your mind up to be free and that ideas flow more naturally and you don't get focused in on one thing. You realize, well, I can go eight different ways with this, so let's think of those eight different ways before we like hammer down and just go with this one way to do something. I think we miss a lot of things with people. We don't take time to listen to people. And I think that improv has completely changed my perspective on that. And that's why I want to keep doing it. It's different every time. Whether it's funny or not, it's real. Um, and everyone knows it. There's no passive aggressiveness in that problem. There's no dimension of soft choices. There's a thousand mistakes and there's no mistakes. And there's a thousand things you can work on, there's a thousand things that you can nail. If you learn to follow the moment and follow your path, that's a big part of improvisational theory because it leads you, you don't lead it. It's not about you, it's not about me, it's about what we can do together. And that's what, you know, improv is, it's, it's, it's a collaborative effort. And it's just instantly accepted, more than any other, like, theatrical style. All you have to do is say it out loud and it's instantly true. And that's like every childhood dream you, like, ever had. What do you want to be today? What do you want to be today? Mm -hmm. You can do anything you fucking want. And I think doing comedy in general is super important too because it forces you to like think critically about the world um, but then instead of getting bogged down on how depressing and terrible things are or can be. So if you go into the improv and you think comedy is about cynicism or knocking people down or calling out stupidity, you'll get like one joke out of it but if you support and you say yes, you can get a whole career out of it, or like a whole run, or a friendship, or whatever, something that lasts a lot longer. You ever see this movie before? Yeah, yeah, I saw it once before. I love at the end, when they kill the guy, and then his family's like, please come back home, but then he's like, he can't, he's dead. Yeah, yeah, no, I remember, I remember, I remember, I remember he's dead, he can't, he can't return. Yeah. I love previews. Yes, yes, I like, I like. Previews I like. are my favorite because you know they put the best stuff in the in the previews. You don't have, to, you don't even have to go see the movies. Sometimes if the trailer is so good, I won't go see the movie if I were you, because you know the best material is in the trailer, and then you're gonna be looking for something to be funnier than that. Then you go see the movie and you're just like, but the best jokes I already saw. Did you see the trailer for this movie? Hey, the movie's about to start. So you guys don't get, you guys don't got popcorn. You should go get some popcorn. All right. <laughs> I gotta start coming to this fucking movie theater. You think that dude's like, like he works here, or you think he just like is really enthusiastic? I think enthusiastic he works here. Whatever your popcorn. other option is, I think it's more like he works. Here. My other options were that he's either super enthusiastic about popcorn or just like. 
Privatizing his own. Y'all heard that shit. Now work here. I just got the job and I'm stoked. <laughs> All right. <laughs> this staff here is so friendly. Yes, they're very attentive. I was. I love coming here. I love coming here, and there's always like on Fridays they have a discount if you go before 2 p.m. You can get a ticket for five dollars. It's really hard to wake up before 2 p.m. on a Friday, <laughs> uh, but if you do it, you can catch a movie for real cheap. I love movies. <laughs> and again, I love preachers. Oh my I also god! Love the ending. Okay, 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 okay. You know that not every occurrence in your life is an anecdote. You know that not every moment needs to be filled by some sort of constant speech. You can carry on for a moment. We have visual stimulus. We can just sit here in silence and stare at it with our mouths open. Please, would you shut the hell up? Hey, you almost did that with Charles. Is that cool? <laughs> when I was the artistic director of the training center, I would do the orientation, uh, you know, six times a year for the 300 and some odd students who were coming in. And I would always say, this work will change your life. And inevitably, people would come up to me a year later and say, I remember you from orientation, and you said that, and I thought it was bullshit. And guess what? My life is completely different since I started taking classes a year ago. I'm doing better work. I met my future spouse. I'm a different person due to doing this work. And I think that one of the things that's really, really wonderful about the training center is that we're a transformational space. People come to us when they're ready to change something. When I started in 2010, I was a lot shyer of a person. I, I was a lot uh, more hesitant to share my ideas. I'm kind of a hermit. I'll, you know, before this, with all my other jobs that I've had, I kind of just would stay at home watch a ton of movies. I have like 1,500 movies at my house and I, you know, just watch those or read a book or you know, drink or something. I, I kind of stay to myself a lot. And then the other thing is I'm a, I'm a big planner. Um, I like to keep my planner and you know, organize things and I kept everything in order and improv is not in order and <laughs> you can't control it. So that was kind of hard for me at first. One of the big things that it's kind of helped me with is it's giving me something to focus on instead of drinking because I'm, I'm an alcoholic and I've been sober for about four years. It gave me something to do and to focus on and to be proud of accomplishing because a lot of the reason that I drank was because I wasn't doing anything and that I didn't think that I could do anything. I think a lot, a lot of people get benefit from being pushed outside of their comfort zones and being more open to uh, their environment and the people around them. I think there's a lot to be learned from this than just, um, you know, a silly comedy. I think it's, it goes much deeper. I tell every public relations person I come across or every corporate person I come across to take improv because it will help connect dots that you may not have seen before. It'll help with your confidence, it'll help with your presentation skills, it'll help with your brainstorming, it'll help with your leadership. There are just valuable life skills that are just you know, yeah, social skills. That's uh, what I've told friends of mine that would be like, oh, I love what you guys are doing, but I could never do that. And I tell people, then that is all the reason to take a level one anywhere. Like, yeah, I think everyone you, should take a, at it, least a level it's, one. You know, that's why they do corporate training. Like, it just it just makes sense because it, it really helps give you this whole new set of skills that can just really enrich your entire life. Everyone should take an improv class. It should be like a life requirement. Like you can't get married and have babies until you've taken an improv class. If I was queen of the world, that would be my decree. But Adam, I don't want you to go out to the war. Well, I don't have much of a choice, you know? They just, they draft you. It, I can't avoid a draft. I'm not a boxer. I'm not, I can't, I can't get out of it. It's not something I can say no to. Yes, you can't that's the issue. I am a man, so they'd like me to be there. <laughs> we should get married. That's not going to... Yeah, well, address, it will. No, it won't. Yeah. No. No. Yeah, because they'll know that your heart's in America and they have to stay for your heart. Again, if my heart's in America, they're going to want me even more. It's a fight <laughs> for America. If you love me, you wouldn't go anywhere. 
Okay, so I do love you, but it's not my decision. Okay, I don't see why you're, it's like, it's not my, it's not my damn decision. Fake your death. What? I'll break a leg. Break well, breaking a leg, I'll do, but faking a death, that's a little too. Yeah, why? No, because I can break a leg, I can break my leg and I'll get out of it. Uh, Private, we literally have the entire platoon on the bus. We're only waiting on you. <laughs> this is uh, kind of... I'm saying goodbye to... He's busy, okay? He's busy. And I'm not going to give you a picture to jerk off to if you're just going to go. <laughs> First of all, I would never jerk off to my girlfriend. I didn't... <laughs> <laughs> No, it's not that. It's just that it's weird to jerk off to your Why girlfriend. is it weird? You've been inside me. Why is it weird to jerk off? Because I've jerked you off. You You're not even my hand. You don't know what I think when I jerk off. Well, I'd love to get inside there because I want to know what you think about. Guys, the bus is oh. waiting. Actually, this is hey, hey, I need to hey, what's this taking stuff. so long? I'm clearing up a masturbation. I can't thing. believe you want to jerk off to me. No, listen. This is so insulting. It's a respect thing. What I don't want to get like it's a disgusting what, thing. Who do you look at when you jerk off? Uh, I don't know, Naomi Campbell. Oh, well, I don't look anything like Naomi Campbell. Yeah, I don't Campbell. have a shot with her. I would never have an opportunity. That's what if right. you do? What if she ends up out, out there in the desert? And she's you out there. The what if she, what, maybe she got drafted too. I don't know. She's not her prime anymore. They I do a lot of modeling shoots in the desert. It is, it, it could happen. Uh, this is the most. I'm going to get on the bus. I'm going to get on the bus. This is the most shallow thing I've ever heard It's a respectful say. thing. No, it's not. You don't think I'm hot enough to jerk That's to not you. true at all. Honey, I you touch I'm sure those a lot of those people? guys jerk off to you. Do we, do they? I don't. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. It's called a memory rub. I'll remember you. Okay. <laughs> yeah. It your argument. You want the passion you show. Enough. The simplest rule. Yes, Sam. How many times a day if you say no? Warren hasn't gotten it yet, but I mean, we're working He's getting there. He's getting but I mean, it's yeah. a simple thing. It's like, um, you know, when we're simply like standing around being like, what should we do tonight? And the first person who says we should do this and just going, yeah. Instead of being like, how long do no. we stand around going, no, 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 but we should do this. It's just that yeah. simple thing is in a daily conversation. Yes, yeah, standing simply means uh, agreeing to everything and adding additional information that makes sense within the context that you're creating, or not even creating that is already present within the scene, the energy of the scene between two people. So I'm outside. Like, no, no, let's go to the yet. park. I can be like, yeah, let's go to the park, which does absolutely nothing. I can go, yeah, let's go to the park, because when we go there, it's all the five hundred. So now, <laughs> yeah. we, talk, we know exactly who these people are and what they do at the park. No one's going to think that this idea is stupid. They're going to try it. Even if they think it might be stupid, they're going to make it, help you make it awesome, you know? And if they it's, don't, it makes a really good story. <laughs> yeah. If someone asks me a question, and my, I learn to recognize when my first response is fear, and then just saying yes anyway, and knowing that that fear is going to fade behind once I've committed to that thing. If it doesn't work out, what the hell? But commit to it and try it, and who knows, it could be really rewarding. He was just about to confess his sins. Oh, uh, yeah, I was. He went to college. You went to college? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I mean, you went to college. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna be a philosophy major. <laughs> yeah, you went to college to become a philosophy major. Yeah, you know, just to explore different, you know, forms of thought. And to explore different forms of thought. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. Um, well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You think it's healthy <laughs> to explore different schools of thought? Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I, out of you, demon! <laughs> out of demon! <laughs> demon to go! I said that's not gonna. Out of demon! <laughs> I think like a lot of people, you move here and, and you get a little taste of improv, maybe you know what it is, maybe you don't, but you come in and you are embraced by it and by the community and it's an art form, it's so invigorating and it, you become obsessed with it and then 
you know, seven nights a week you're either performing or you're watching. It seems now people come here to do the next level of their improv training. Like they did it in their college town, they did it for college, now they're here. They've already got two or three years experience. I'm from Urbana Champaign. I'm from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. I'm what? from St. Louis. What? Cleveland, Ohio. Owensboro, yeah. Kentucky. Northern California. Denver, Colorado. West Lawn, Pennsylvania. Westport, Connecticut. Waukesha, Wisconsin. Maplewood, New Jersey. Dallas, Texas. Paraguay. Sydney, Australia. South America. The suburbs of Detroit. Elgin, Illinois. So this is motherfucking Atlanta? <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> yeah. yeah, we like to just let everything go. If you like, don't like somebody, just let them know it, you know, right? Okay. Like, you're an asshole. Fuck you. You're so fucking ugly. What the fuck, man? Oh my god, welcome to Atlanta, all right? <laughs> See? 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 She doesn't even know you. I'm George. <laughs> Ain't nobody fucking care, man. Ain't nobody care. I'm fucking Mike, but nobody fucking cares about Mike. I was hey. like, fuck you, Mike. Mike, George, I'm trying to cross the street. Could you two assholes help me? George <laughs> <laughs> said, fuck you, old man. Scurry over. <laughs> That's... Fuck you, old man. Oh, yes, fuck you, too. I need help. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone does it for different reasons. Some people do it for therapeutic reasons. Some people do it um, for narcissistic ones. Some people use theater as therapy. Some people use theater with children. Some people use theater uh, for a profession. Some people want to only teach. That's, that translates the same for improv. Some people do improv because they're a lawyer and they need to get out of the office for a while. Some people do improv because they've wanted to do improv since they saw, you know, Mike Myers on IO stage, you know, like I feel like every improv and theater both have the same thing where you can do a million things with it, well, which is exciting. The other thing that I think is interesting is like I feel like people separate it so much, like it's like this is improv and this is theater, but the truth is improv is just a branch of theater. Yeah. Like, it's not, you know what I mean? So I think coming from the background, I feel like, at least for me, like doing all the acting stuff first is really nice because you already have, at least for me, I feel like I have a strong like character base. Like I have characters that I feel like I can bring into my improv that maybe for people who don't have the theater background, they come in and that's something like that's or a like an improviser that's never done theater will be doing a scene like right or they're not like stepping like, forward. turn out yeah <laughs> like, but, like cheat it out I know. paid sixty grand to learn how to do that so you know you don't have worth to. it and look at right. this lipstick and I mean, it, was worth it. it doesn't matter what it is it can be because you were so scared of it or like you want to be on SNL or whatever it is just be so proud of the fact that you're there and so so delighted in yourself for even trying something that so many other people won't even bother to get out of their house to do. I don't think you can learn, practice, and do improv without it affecting your personal life. As far as when you now walk through the world, you should be looking more for ways to support in any way possible. Uh, okay. So what, uh... Uh-huh. How you doing? Yeah. You wanna be in it? about improv that's so great is that it allows you to look at situations from different perspectives. I definitely think it's helped me take myself less seriously and, and just enjoy the people I'm with and enjoy my own surroundings. What are you doing improv here? You're making that ass of yourself most of the time. <laughs> so, yeah. so if you, if you can do that and still you know, walk out and be alright with it and uh, um, you, know, you can handle anything else outside. My name's Pamela, I'll be taking care of you. As you can see on the window, we got $2, $4, $6, $8, and $10 specials. <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh, I'm oh. going to. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a lovely lady. Well, how can I get you started? Um, I'll start off with a milkshake, a cup of coffee. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop. What kind of milkshake? We don't just make a milkshake. <laughs> I would like a half chocolate, half vanilla. So I know you normally put two pumps. Um, hold on. So I need to know which one you want is the base layer and the top layer. Yeah. Fancy. Or swirled in the middle with a straw, and the vanilla goes in the straw in the middle. Whichever one is the most complicated. So the swirl. Comes. <laughs> and uh, you, um. I need just like a frame so I can just hold it up because this is probably our last date. <laughs> oh. I'm gonna get you three milkshakes. <laughs> when you're on stage, you have to be thinking about all kinds of different things at the same time, different choices, what you're gonna do next, making sure you're not being too selfish, but yet giving 
uh, enough so that you're an integral part of the group without trying to take it over. Sheldon Patinkin says this work creates ensemble. That you can't do these exercises, you can't uh, do the Spolin games without creating ensemble with a group of people. When in society you can't get three people to agree on one thing, we're trying to get ten people to agree on one thing. And how many times we do that over and over again, it's almost a miracle. Sheldon says that an ensemble is only as good as its ability to support its weakest member. And I've seen ensembles where there's maybe three, pe three people with really strong skills and then another much larger chunk with, with less talent for the work have an amazing show, an amazing experience because the people with the skills support the people without them. And I've seen ensembles where 95% of them are incredibly talented and yet in rejecting the people they perceive as less talented, the entire show falls apart. It's so beautiful. You know, I just like to sit and watch the people go by. You know? Oh, I know. Mm -hmm. Oh, I know. I know. Oh. <laughs> you are <laughs> the most interesting people in the whole world. It's like they're not even people. <laughs> well, I mean, not people, but they're just so much more interesting. I mean, look at that guy, right? Yeah. He's like, not people, <laughs> you know? I have a, another Dunkaroo, too, so if you don't want to, you know, no, if you I run this, out. I got the sucker. <laughs> <laughs> it's fascinating. Just, you know, Diane? Uh huh. I once watched you before we actually sat down what? next to each other. Yeah, and I was like, that person is a person. Oh my god. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I don't even. I mean, it's I, like I, the future of the world is New York City, and we're living in uh, the fifth element. You Let's know? go back to where you were talking about watching me. That's. So oh yeah, you, you tripped and you kind what? of stumbled on your toes. Like, cause, probably because your heels are maybe a crack in the ground. Yeah, I'm not used right. to paved sidewalks. Right, so I noticed that. <laughs> <laughs> and then I was like, wow, look at this weirdo walking around. And then you gathered yourself. And I was like, and I was like man, that's actually a real person. Because they noticed that they fell down almost. Mm -hmm. And then I noticed your book, and I was like, she reads. I do. And I was like, if I could be another woman in this world, I'd be you. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. Marvin is so <laughs> sweet. <laughs> that's, that's the sweetest. Did you ever think no. that about me at all? Um, I mean, no. <laughs> <laughs> For me, the hardest part was differentiating yourself from the other groups out there, the other teams. In Chicago, improv groups are a dime a dozen. You know, you can walk down the street and probably see posters for 20 different teams. So uh, there is a name of a teammate on that list, uh, on your thing. Uh, I want you to play like that team. Oh! <laughs> I wish Allison was here with us. You don't know what's going to happen in basketball. You don't know what's going to happen in improv. So you rehearse, you practice. So when situations come up, you know what to do. Obviously, you, you don't, you're not rehearsing scenes. You're not rehearsing lines like you are in, in theater. It's probably more akin to uh, uh, athletic practice. That is, there are moves, there are games, there are structures. Here we go. Now, move down. Tostada, teeth, tongue, ears, corn, tacos, lips, munchies, burritos. <laughs> Mouth. Tostada, teeth, quesadilla, tongue, ears, uh, tacos, mouth, burritos, down, tostada, corn. The reason we rehearse is to get all of those skills ingrained so that we don't have to think about them anymore and we can just be there. I really appreciate everyone coming today. Um, it's good to see all the wives here. We've grown. <laughs> We've grown in intensity and in size. <laughs> <laughs> And Louisa yes. is going to share today's minutes, if you'd like. If you don't want to, I can just have you go back to the septic tank. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mary Ann. Okay, I've returned from the hospital and my prognosis was fine, apparently. 
this means business, and this is just a cry for help. <laughs> um, grocery duties will now be handled by three wives. We will now rotate nights with our husband every other night as opposed to every three nights. Excuse me, how is it every other night when there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-twenty-one, thirty-twenty-two, thirty-twenty-three, thirty-twenty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-twenty-one, thirty-twenty-two, thirty-twenty-three, thirty-twenty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-twenty-one, thirty-twenty-two, thirty-twenty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, th
if, if crying helped fat people, no one would be fat. <laughs> Kid, better sit down. It gets pretty bumpy on this car. Right. And Woody Guthrie rode this car. <laughs> <laughs> I think he wrote. I think he wrote. This land is our land or yours. On this car, I was whittling a sharpened stick. <laughs> yeah. Ah, so what are you running away from? Your past? Your future? Bad times? Oppression? All of your the above. Man. Oh, <coughs> tell me about it, brother. Yeah, what do you got in your mental? Oh, uh, Pokemon. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I got a... Uh, sweet, sweet. I got a... Uh, Pikachu. who are doing, they're performing all the time, and they're, they're, they're seeing it all the time. They can just, you know. How long have you been doing improvisation? Uh, for about 13 years. I started studying, I was probably 19 years old, and I'm close to 49 now, so what is that, th about 30 years. I've been doing it longer than Rachel's been alive. <laughs> <laughs> about 28 years. 27 years? 20 years now. 12 years. 10 years. 7 years in the city? Over 5 years, I think. Four years. Three and a half years. Two and a half years. About a year and a half. Exactly a year. And it's fun to like, now that you're, now that I'm here, I feel like there are people that I have been playing with that I can like watch develop or like watch yeah. suddenly turn a corner or yeah. something. That happens in like training programs I've been through and stuff. And it's strange because you don't feel it. I'm sure it's happening, but you don't feel it happening to yourself, but you can see it in other people. And it's just, ah, it's the best feeling in the world to watch someone just like, wake up and like just start owning stuff like people I know who are just amazing. There's a lot of the experience of moving through the stages of beginner to intermediate to professional or whatever that you can't necessarily uh, explain to somebody but once you live through it you you realize how much you've grown through it. It's really funny, I think, to hear everybody's opinions on the different training centers. Second City is like the successful older brother uh, <laughs> that like makes a ton of money and is like, you know, like has like is a nice posture. Yeah, they're all, it's your family. Yeah, if you call it's it's, it's family, you know? He's not like, like waiting around. Yeah, he's, like, okay, he's right. nice. Uh, then Io is the middle child. Uh, he's kind of always in like the older brother's shadow, yeah. but he's, he's doing good for himself. Like, like, he's doing his own stuff, and he's doing just fine in your family. And then Annoyance is the youngest brother, so who just, like, darn. doesn't give a shit, you know? <laughs> who, who just, he was like a little pyro when he was a kid, and he never grew out of it. Second City uses improv as a tool to generate sketch, so it's a tool for writing. Io comes at it from over here for improv, for improv's sake, so it's like an art form. So it's, what is improv? Like, what can improv do? So it's really the art aspect of it. And then annoyance is, you know, whatever you want to do with improv. So it's more performer driven. So it's more about who am I as an improviser. So it's tools, self, and like ensemble. When I first moved here, I did all three training centers at the same time. Jesus. Because I saved up money and I was like, well, what else am I gonna do? I moved here by myself and I didn't know anyone. So yeah. I, was like, I might as well do classes and I have no friends. When you're in the classes, you're going to be absorbing so much information that it's so hard to apply it and that you're actually going to get way worse before you get better. Like, you're going to get so bad because you're trying to apply this information that you're getting. And then when you do institution on top of institution on top of institution, you're, you're going to get so confused. That's the thing about improv. It takes time. It takes effort. Uh, and it's not just learning and knowing. You can read as many books as you want, you can take as many classes as you want, but you still need that stage time and you still need to be able to find yourself. It's a strange thing because Second City obviously is the name and you know, you want to be able to put in your resume, ah, I took classes at Second City. Because ultimately, 
Second City is where you could work and get paid. Whereas here, you go through the classes, you can get put on a team, and you can do shows downstairs, but you're not going to make you're not going to make any money. But it's a training you use, you learn here in the training you use at Second City, that then you go on auditions and you know, they see on your resume. This this place still means a whole hell of a lot on a resume, just because it's a completely different way to, to think. So these are our new secret passageways. Where you are. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> Io is all about you know working together and stuff like that. But to be a good player at Io, sometimes you need to know some of the tricks that they teach at Annoyance about doing for stuff for yourself and everything like that. What I like about the Annoyance is yes, you can do anything. You um, you're you're allowed to do anything, say anything. You just have to take responsibility for it. You you just have to own up to it. Did my client murder his grandmother? Yes. Yes, he did. He choked her right to death. <laughs> she died right there in his arms, her neck in his hands. That is not something we are contesting. But my client was under duress. You see, he had not ejaculated. <laughs> and now on 36 hours by that point. You're doing really good, Stuart. Thank you. Thank you. Sure. Hey, you know, just, you got to be biased. We're all biased. I'm totally biased. I'm your mom. I appreciate that. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, y'all. Hi. Okay, yep. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so he was under duress, and, uh, and it led him in his mental state. I don't know if y'all have ever been in a situation where you have not had cable television. I'm really proud of you, Steve. <laughs> You're doing so good. Thank you. The judge is smiling. The jury has a question. Uh, yeah, go on ahead. Uh, you're on number three. What about pre cum? Uh, pre cum. Yeah, you said he did not ejaculate, but yeah. I'm wondering about pre cum. Oh, he was oozing pre cum at a ridiculous rate. <laughs> to the point that it looked like he had kissed his pants, but he did not. They were simply soiled with the remnants of a ridiculous amount of pre cum, to the point that it had dried over and become crusty. The jury is right. That is right. You're so smart. You just know about the human body. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, uh, I, I do apologize uh, for bringing my mother here. Hi. <laughs> Talk about pre-cum again. Uh, sure, sure, pre-cum. <laughs> uh, it's the cum before the cum, the calm before the storm. The, oh, I'm feeling pretty good, but not all the way as good as I could, if you know what I'm saying here. What it is, is it, it's I a... I wouldn't be a single mother without it. <laughs> <laughs> I did the conservatory at Second City, and that was a good experience because I think my, my big passion is sketch comedy, so it was cool to explore how improv can lead into sketch. See the Martins! Look, look! The Martins! Look, there's Mommy. Mommy's an executive for a Fortune 500 company. Work, mom, work. Look, there's Daddy. Daddy stays at home with Dick. Hi, Dick. And Jane. Hi, Jane. Daddy says staying at home is progressive. <laughs> Mommy says it's pathetic. The Martins are getting ready for supper. Daddy is in the kitchen. Cook, Dad, cook. Dick and Jane set the table. There's a place for everyone. Tonight the Martins have a guest coming for supper. Mommy's assistant Dylan is coming to supper. <laughs> Daddy doesn't know why Dylan needs to eat at the Martins for supper because Dylan has his own goddamn food. <laughs> it's fun to see how it works, you generating the material and then putting it up and it's humbling to see what fails and exciting to see what does really well. What a great conservatory program does is it helps intermediate level improvisers fine tune their voice, take some chances, take some risks, start to figure out what works for them, start to figure out what their voice is going to be moving forward. The 
there's a tremendous amount of fear going into level six. Oh, it has to be this. It's my, it's, you know, even in the back of people's heads, this is the one show I get to do. Um, you know, they, they put a lot of pressure on it. And it's funny, people have spent years improvising these lovely, slow, relationship-based scenes, and they get into level six, and they're like, I want to do a scene about ponies! Or, you know, just, re you know, I'm going to do, do a, a joke scene about, about Kesha and um, Justin Bieber on a talk show. That would be good. The, the, the idea that it needs to be funny. But the idea needs to be funny, and those are actually the hardest ideas to improvise. I've been on Contralina for as long as I can remember. My husband loves it, so I love it too. <laughs> my doctor said that the best way to feel in control of my body is by giving up control altogether. He gave me a prescription so I'll never have to think again. <laughs> Life is a hell of a lot easier when you're heavily medicated. No kidding. My period lasts one minute. <laughs> I'm glad I did the Second Cities Conservatory. I don't think it's as big of a deal as I first thought it was, but that's okay. We all need those reality checks sometimes. The path to getting hired by Second City as an actor is a little bit longer than just the conservatory program. So it's, it's pretty rare for someone to be in conservatory and be hired to do professional work for Second City because usually you're not quite fine-tuned enough. But we might see the first piece of what we would call your puzzle um, of what you know, makes you a valuable artist. That first piece might be defined for us in that conservatory experience. Do you think all great artists just do it just so they can enjoy it? No, no, for the, for the sex. <laughs> Have I seen famous people come through here? Yes. Um, do you always know who's going to be famous? Not always. Sometimes. You know, I'm going to say, say that I had Amy Poehler in class and looked at her and went, wow, she's really good. <laughs> you know? Uh, but at the same time, people take different, you know, someone who's a star in class is oftentimes eclipsed by somebody who's passionate about the work and just keeps going on. It's almost too scary to say, like, I want these things. Like, I want to write for a TV show, or I, I want to be on SNL, or like things that I would never almost even like dare to say because I know how rare it is. We have that kind of geekiness of, uh, oh my god, I always wear Tina Fey perform and Chris Farley perform. But I mean, we have that, hopefully that next generation of people like that coming through here. And I think we can already see it coming. We have people like Tim Robinson coming through and Aidy Bryant. I was on a team with Aidy, and uh, she's super nice and super, super, super funny. I think everyone knows her. Cecily was just on Green and Red, you know, a year ago. Like that's, it's so close and it's, it's so bizarre. When you're here and you watch them on stage, it's fascinating to watch them work and then to know for them that it paid off and that they're doing something huge that they love. It's really gratifying to watch. It's always the best people that end up at the top for some reason, I've found in this community. The performers that work at Second City are very humble and I have never come across a performer who thought he was higher than anybody else, who thought he deserved more. Working as a director with a Second City resident company or with a Second City touring company, I always say, is like working with Ferraris. You know, you, they are, they can do anything. They can turn on a dime. You can come up with an idea and put it in the show that night and the audience is going to think uh, that it's something that you worked on for, for months. They can memorize scripts in a day. It, it's, it's, it, it's astonishing uh, what Second City actors can do. It's like a two hour play. We did that the whole first week, had to be off book the second day. And then got the casting, and then Monday started jumping into the 45 scenes that we're doing. And then today we did the improv stuff. We won't do the improv stuff ever again. We just went through how to play all the games. And then it's just like, we do three different reviews. It's so intense. And we get there, and you think that you're gonna like, relax and stuff, but immediately we're glow taping the chairs, doing tech, testing the mics, and then you change into your black outfit and you're off. 
Um, so yeah, that's, a, that's the other part of it. You, you still have to learn on the fly. It's a really weird lifestyle, it totally is, but it's also very cool. And I think as long as you're open to meeting other people, you get some of the most interesting and, and amazing experiences of your life. When I first started performing improv to audiences, it was pretty shitty improv. Um, it was improv in bars, which uh, the improvisers perhaps know what that is called, anybody? Bar improv. Bar -prov. Yeah, bar improv. Here, any space can be an improv space. I mean, you've got the underground lounge, which is just this bar with this sh shitty little stage with terrible acoustics and horrible lighting, but there's improv every Friday night. Welcome to Sunday night at the underground lounge. Woo! More importantly, Welcome to our three-year anniversary show. And then you got a place like the Upstairs Gallery, which is just a, it's a room in Alex Honnett's apartment, but it's an awesome space that is super popular. Hi, hey. I'm Mary. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice What's meet your you. name? I'm Nico. Nico? That's a good name. Isn't that a cool name? <laughs> <laughs> It's just a, a, a room you can rent out to, to perform in or to put a, you know, whatever your idea is. They started because they didn't make I.O. teams and they wanted to perform somewhere mm -hmm. and wanted a place for their friends to perform too. Yeah, I think so. it's that whole idea of making your own opportunities. Welcome to the Atlantic Bar and Grill on Thursday night, backroom comedy. Welcome to the Good Times Improv Show, everybody. Welcome very much to Monday Night at Mullins. Welcome to the bar below. How are we feeling tonight? Welcome to the miniature stage with the changing lights and the chicken wire. How weird is it now, uh, looking back and seeing like how much even bar prop has grown? Oh. Because I mean, like that's I remember playing here like three, four years ago. Eight years ago, there was like it only felt like a few dozen independent teams, even mm -hmm. after people had graduated and stuff. And now it's, there's just an explosion. I feel very, very fortunate to even have access to a space like this and for it to be received so well. I tell people I give you 10 to 12 mi minutes to do whatever the hell you want. If you want to come up here and make funny faces for 12 minutes, as long as it's funny, I'll let you do it. I saw it on. You know, and there's not a lot of places that let you do that. There's some people, that groups who are studying like Level 1, Bio, Training Center at Second City, and they're trying stuff out, which is so great to support them and, 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 and welcome them. And, as opposed to like we see people who are understudies on main stage showing up here yeah. and trying stuff out, which is really cool. Uh, I love that. The, the range from, uh, and, and you learn from other people and your other peers from seeing uh, people from their earlier levels to... All the way to like the best of the best, like Danny Mulrath. Yeah, 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 you're right. Gary, yeah. I want you to grab a seat, okay? All right, calm down. Here's the thing. Uh, <laughs> Why shouldn't I fire you? Why shouldn't I fire you? <laughs> Why shouldn't I fire you? Five, five years of dedicated service. Okay. Uh, 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 Ruben's been here six years. Why shouldn't I fire you? Are, are we having cutbacks? Can I turn and face you? We are not. You can turn it. You can turn it however you want, and that's going to help you. We're not having cutbacks. Okay. We are not having cutbacks. Companies with green. But why shouldn't I fire you? <laughs> I, I don't get what, what games you're trying to play. Uh, that's not helping. That's not helping. I, I, you're not under, I shouldn't fire you if you don't understand. <laughs> no, no, I, I understand. I, I completely get what you're saying. I just... Why shouldn't I fire you? I, I, I just said I've been working here five years. And Ruben's been here six. Danielle's been here three, but she's a go-getter. <laughs> Why shouldn't I fire you? Why shouldn't I fire you? I, I just... Uh, because I, I, I'm, on, I'm on time. My, my attendance is perfect. Boom. Perfect attendance. Boom. Okay. Uh, 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 I have perfect attendance. <laughs> All right. <laughs> but you're not being fired. <laughs> or <laughs> I'm not saying you're fired. Are you trying to motivate me? Did is I say that this is? I, have, I just have a single question. I don't want you to read into it. The company's doing great. We are not downsizing. We actually might be doing some hiring. Why shouldn't I fire you, okay? That's all I want to know. Del Close, who was a, a teacher of mine, 
uh, used to always say in, in that improvisation, uh, that he wanted improvisation to be to be an art form. A lot of people didn't believe it was an art form. Even Bernie Sellins, who owned Second City, didn't believe it was an art form. And it took me a long time to convince the public, to convince the critics, uh, that this is a worthy art form. And when you go out and do it shitty <laughs> somewhere else, you're convincing the public that it's not worthy. And we still get people going, oh yeah, I've seen that. I don't want to see that anymore. I think too much in our line of work, in our industry, and even us at our worst, we go for the uh, the uh, the automatic, accessible, easy success. The uh, uh, the tr treat the audience as if they're morons, or cretins, or lower Slobovian, and they're almost always going to live up to that if if that's the expectation. It's like what we do with with kids in school now. <laughs> you know, let's lower the grades till they're <laughs> till they meet the horrible performance, and then we'll have a bunch of morons running the country. And lo and behold. Don't play dumb. Don't pander to the audience, you know? If you know something, if you're an expert in something, be an expert like that on stage. Improv is about spontaneous creation with other people. It's not about telling jokes on stage. It's not about everybody. It's not about you being funny. It's about um, taking the invisible, powerful thing that exists when two people are in the same room together and coloring it in a certain way that people enjoy. And the more you can sit and have that invisible, powerful thing with other people in this town, the better you're going to be at coloring it. I love doing shows where you have a scene that may go on for, you know, three minutes with dead silence in the audience, but they're yeah. all sitting there like this. And to me, I will take that over a bunch of just, you know, cheap laughs any day of the week. improvisation today, uh, certain improvisation, it's not all improvisation, but the stuff that is in the art form category can go up against a scripted play, can go up against sketch, can go up against stand-up, and that, you know, it's as compelling and as entertaining and as hilarious as any of, any of those other art forms. I can see some improv purists that would never want to write just because your baby a little bit. Oh, hi, nice, sir. Welcome to Becca. How may I help you? Uh, yeah, I'd like to buy these birds, please. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. I can not good conscience that you purchased those birds. <laughs> I'm sorry. Why not? Well, you are the referee from last night's basketball game, correct? I am. I know you love blowing fouls. You, you start doing all the, the comedy science stuff of you know, your payoff versus your setups and like, you know, when 
how you mess with the audience at certain times and how comical you are in this and are you clownish in this but do you take this next part really super serious and do you, like with improv to me it's just much more f free and open and you know like, yeah. I mean it really comes down to it it's just playing around you know a family tree shows you where you've come from and maybe where you'll go at the root, there's the immigrants that came over from wherever you came from, you know, like Italy or Spain or France. Or... And as the tree comes up, it's first generation usually. Yeah, yeah. 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 really, yeah. really persecuted yeah. For, for one or two generations. Yeah. 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 But then they work really hard and then they get money and then their kids go to like really good schools. Yeah. But those kids yeah. are still going to get some shit for being like the kids of poor. Or like a little yeah. hairier than usual. Oh, yeah. 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 And then, like scholarships. Sure, yeah, yeah. Then yeah. right about here, they interbreed. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they, they interbreed with some, like, purebred, like, English people. Like Anglo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's when they kind of start to lose their roots, kind of get cocky. Yeah, yeah. 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 They, they get anxious, They start to play, like, lacrosse and shit. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, oh, we should, we should annex Hawaii because we can force our country yeah. on that. Yeah. 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 Harold, as invented by Del Close, it's a way to explore an idea. So if you get, say, spatula, standard improv suggestion, it's not about spatula, it's not about people who use spatulas. It is about tools and mankind's concept of inventing. The idea of patterns and connections as a way of holding things together that is a more endoskeletal kind of glue than, than, than just a narrative connection. So the idea that it's about the same thing, the idea that certain uh, little details move from scene to scene and world to world in a way that makes for a, cons a, a cohesive whole. It's why that first generation that came out of Dell went on to be actors, writers, producers, directors, because the Herald teaches you to see everything like a writer, a director, an editor, a prop master, a, a film scorer. It made you see a piece bigger than just your funny line in it. As the generations have gone on, I think people have become more sophisticated as players. I think they become faster players. I think, uh, and I don't mean fast in a bad way. I mean, they still connect, they still act. They just get it, they just get it. What's going on? You wanted me to take out, all right? Yes. Her, uh, her husband. But oh. you gotta be careful because he's a magic man. He's a magic man. He's a, oh. he's a magic oh. man. I don't know what those magic men, you know. They're... So much magic, so little money. <laughs> These handcuffs won't hold me. You didn't count on that, did you? Well, you, didn't, well, you just kind of tied him to the chair. You should be like, oh, I handcuffed him to the chair. I didn't know he was going to break out of him. He's like a Houdini on me. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Wrapped. <laughs> thought Harold was dead. Dell knew that Harold was dead and it was becoming something else. So he, with my class, sort of invented the first 5B, which is we were the Lindbergh babies, where Dell went, we're not going to work on Harold with you, we're going to work on something else. And we invented our own form, and he died a couple of years after that, and Noah became reluctant heir apparent and was fucking killing it. It was neonatal when I started, so the form was probably adhered a little more closely to as far as uh, an opening, three scenes, a game, the same three scenes, a game, the same three scenes, done. Harold, at some point, Dell just said, was a half hour thing that had a suggestion. While the teachable Harold that IO sort of clings to is an actual structure that was actually invented by like David Shepard at the committee years ago. But Dell sort of remembered it and Sharna and he made it. You put your peanut butter in my hole. Right. Chocolate. You, chocolate. I kind of use the giving tree metaphor, the Shel Silverstein story of like, boy, this, this thing is really fun where we improvise uninterrupted for 30 minutes. Uh, hey, that one we did where we used all those movie techniques, let's 
let's take those rules and make it its own form called the movie, and we'll saw that branch off off the tree. And oh, that one form where we took that one that one long scene and, and deconstructed it. Let's, let's make that the deconstruction. We'll saw off we'll saw off those techniques. And the Harold can't do those anymore. That, that's deconstruction. It's funny that I'm teaching a form that wasn't even around when I started. Like I teach JTS Brown now, and I teach close quarters, and I teach form or I teach forms for shows that have developed since I started improv. That's funny to me. That that we're we really are creating something here. And we're doing so many different things like the Deltones creating a musical Shakespeare, improvised Shakespeare. Oh my god, it's painful laughter. We are the ladies of improvised Jane Austen. We are the spotty truth and we do an improvised biography. Hey everybody, we're McGarnacle. Uh we know the improvised cop drama for you. We are lethal action force! Yeah! And we're here to make the movies <laughs> that Hollywood doesn't have the balls to make. Music improv has sort of taken off insanely since I started. The Apollo is Baby Wants Candy. You have the Deltones over at uh, I.O. You have um, uh, uh, Mint over at Studio B. It's out of control, and, it's, and that's just at its infancy. For some reason, I think musical improv makes it less scary for me, like it's because it's so big and over the top. Improv is about heightening, and to me, you can't get any more heightened uh, than actually breaking out into song. Slow it down, slow it down, slow it down, slow it down. Slow it down. I wanna speed it up. I wanna put in this ring right on my finger. I said I want this ring. I want it on my finger. I'm 27 years old. I can't wait any longer. More and more groups are trying to do musical improv. More and more groups, now that they've been through a Second City program or an I.O. program where they're used to having music directors, now they're much more willing to pay for a music director to be a part of their show, even if they're not a musical group. I watched Dave Adler, Lawrence Fingerhut, uh, T.J. Shanoff. Like, I watched what they did was they added to the comedy. It wasn't just underscoring. It was underscoring towards the point of view of the, com the comedic point of view of the scene. I've seen, I saw David Adler save a scene that where the improvisers were struggling and he brought up a song and all of a sudden that 20 seconds of struggling is now fully justified by this ridiculously vampy tune. I got a do it. I gotta clean this super fat man. I gotta do it. With my own two hands and a sponge, I gotta do it. I mean, here we have all the time in the world, and there we have deadlines, but there we get things done, and here we're just stagnant. <laughs> I want to stay here. Now, can we do a, a startup on the beach? Can we just do like, a startup on an island where there's like 20 people? But don't you remember our plans, Charlo? I know our plans. That's all I've been thinking about, Dave, is plans, plans, plans. Here it's impossible to plan. Raise the capital, get the ideas, find a partner. That's right, you the capital, ideas, and partners. Boom. Then we're public, then we're loaded, then we have time to come to the beach. Ah, uh, we have the time now? Why do we have to do that first? Because we haven't done. You can't do if you haven't done. Can't we just do it here? Can't we just be instead of do? That's what I want. I don't understand. <laughs> I thought I did, but it seems like we're different. We're the same, Dave. We're different, Charlie. Think about it this way, okay? Look at the ocean on the horizon. Think about it this way, okay? Dave. Think about it my way. Charlie, you're so busy trying to make us famous, make our venture famous, but Dave, think about it this way. Charlie, let's see. The world is round, Dave. It's round and we just go round and round, Dave. Can't you see what I mean, Dave? We go round, Dave. You don't have to do anything, just be round.
try to see it my way on the ground so it's round yes on and on infinity try to see it my way see see this charlie in a city where everything is laid out we're paid out in a city in a city where lines meet yes the squares Squares, intersections, perpendicular and skew. But here, everything is round, and I'll never meet you. It's my way. And circles, and everything goes on and on. That's what I'm talking about, Dave. Your way is just too far. Think fun. about it this way. Think about it my way. What is over the horizon? What if nobody it doesn't have to do ever did a damn just thing. Is. Nothing Think about it this is. way. Nothing about it. 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 Nothing about it
put that away. Ah! <laughs> 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 ah, I killed one of my snakes! <laughs> We're still not very well known, like long form improv and improv in general has still got sort of a stigma attached to it, sometimes often seen as stand up, you know, comedy. I think in Chicago there is a lot of leaking over and bleeding over of people that, you know, most stand ups have at least tried improv at some point, and a lot of improvisers uh, tend to at least give stand up a shot. I don't see a lot of improv, I do stand up mostly, and I'm not. I took an improv class when I first moved here at the Annoyance Theater, and like I liked it, it was fun to do, and there's no, there's some good improv. I'm not one of those guys who's like, improv is fucking terrible. Like, it's not necessarily what I'm drawn to as much. There's a lot of very talented people doing it, there's no doubt about it. I kind of felt myself at a lull and kind of plateauing with improv and sketch, so I moved on to stand up, and that's kind of where my focus has come now. When you're on stage, you feel like, oh, I have to have laughter like every two seconds, and you know, if I'm not getting to another punchline, then you know, they're gonna start hating me. And I think improv kind of taught me that, like, you can kind of take your time and breathe and let the moment sit for a while and people will respond to that too. I've got a couple, do you guys live together over here? No, not yet. Yeah. <laughs> Were you gonna ask her later? <laughs> Awkward. Or you, how about you guys, you live together? No? Oh my God, we are all lonely, okay. I think that stand-up is still group work because you still have a scene partner. It needs to be conversational. To me, uh, the longer that I've done stand-up, the more I've tried to make it conversational, where your scene partner is the audience. And I think doing enough improv has helped me in my stand-up to be able to recognize what's going on in the room, to sit around before my set and see what they're laughing at, what they're into and what they're interested in, and be able to alter my set or what I'm planning to do based on what the room needs. shouting from the floor policy we have tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Change that policy, Jeff from the chair. Yeah! Change that policy, Jeff from the chair. Yes. Okay, that's great. Thank you. We have a couple of, so we see a suggestion if you're going tonight. You ever had an improv heckler situation? Yeah, just like a couple, last, uh, a couple weeks ago we did. Yeah, it was just kept on yelling at us. Well, there's only one way to go, son. Down the trail. It's this way. You don't way. need to be quiet. A lot of wildebeest are in the road, they're noisy. Don't so mind that son. Are you gonna ride ride them down, Pa? <laughs> I'm more humane than that. The Lord taught us that, you know that. But if a wildebeest is right in your path to be a real loud and annoying, should you just stop them on down? <laughs> You're getting older, son. You're getting older. You're a better you man be than a wiser man than me, Pa. <laughs> That's why you hold the reins. That's right. If it was me, I'd just stomp them into a bloody mess right there. <laughs> I think there's less of a divide than people seem to think between the two worlds. Uh, there is certainly somewhat of a divide, but I think it's mostly just people that go, oh, that other version of this funny, uh, or that other version of comedy is, is not necessarily for me. Solo sketch has become really prevalent since I've been here. What's that man's favorite fruit? I know I've seen really good one person improv before. I can't go your lane again! <laughs> I know, Chief, I know! Yes. Sorry! I'm ready to go to work! <laughs> you have better be! This is the last time I'm giving you any snack at all! <laughs> you come here late one more time! You're gonna get docked, you understand? <laughs> okay, Chief, okay. <laughs> What's going on? Now, you might be asking yourselves, hey, Jim, and that's me. <laughs> hey, Jim, what do you like about being in charge? <coughs> well, I'm in charge. <laughs> 
doing any type of solo stuff, you have the advantage of kind of controlling what's going on, but you still surprise yourself. But when you have a group, things uh, you know surprise you more because they see something that you didn't see, and you see things that they didn't see. And when you work together, you know it's it's awesome. I feel the SAT. I feel the SAT. It's great to be like, how do other people make friends? Because being on a team, I have 10 people I can call and get in one room and we'll have a great time. So what do other people do? What I tell my students sometimes is that improvisers, we don't realize how weird we are because we're always around each other. Like most people aren't doing jokes all the time. Like we aren't sitting around doing bits and, and playing around and pretending. Well, come on, give him all the biscuits. What's this guy's problem? What is he doing? Don't you get him. Get out of here! You're out of here. You're out of this. You're cut off. We're stimulated by each other, you know, and we speak the same language. And for me, it's like ingrained in me. And sometimes to my to my benefit, but also sometimes to my detriment. My brother once at a Christmas dinner was like, "You have a fucking answer for everything." And I was like, "Oh yeah, because I'm supposed to." I find myself questioning people's motives now for the way they're acting, hmm. uh, in much the same way I try to like. In a scene. My wife will say to me a lot of times, she'll say, uh, oh, Jimmy, you're, you're, you're making fun of me. And I say, yes, Lauren, I'm always making fun of you. And I, I, I realize that listening to my family is different than listening to my scene partner. Yeah, I'm, I'm better with my, I'm, I'm probably a lot more honest with my kid. And, and because oh, I had sure. my kid much later, for sure. I think I'm a little less selfish than I might have been had mm -hmm. I been a mother at 23. Mm -hmm. I think I'm a lot more creative. Mm -hmm. I think I'm more thoughtful in that way than I used to be. Mm -hmm. And the second marriage is going great. and try to relate to human beings. I think with most improvisers, you're on a lot or whatever, but I can be really shy. Um, and I, I would say so this has definitely helped me. I mean, like, I'm not always shy, but some, in certain situations I can be. Some of them are awkward people. A lot of them are awkward people, you know? I'm kind of awkward. I'm kind of weird, not awkward. We all got here because we were bullied or, 
you know, something happened and we didn't fit in and, you know, no one comes here because they were like class president and never had acne. You know, we're all a little broken in whatever way. Performers are trying to fill something within themselves by presenting themselves and saying, this is, this is me, please uh, validate me. Everyone wants acceptance and a good laugh to feel affirmation that maybe we didn't have, you know, when we were younger. <laughs> Okay. Did you read it? Was it good? Give me your thoughts. Okay, it's a script. It's a work in progress. You know, post-apocalyptic is in. <laughs> so what did you think? Am I Susan in the script? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe my Susan? Is that what you think of me? No. Um. <laughs> you said she was definitely mediocre and vague <laughs> and boring. Am I Susan? You, you really, you really she read it. <laughs> <laughs> I was assuming you would you skim. Killed her. <laughs> you killed her at in the, the end. first, yeah, in the, the end. <laughs> I'm Susan. Okay, but Susan's the anchor. You gotta realize that Susan's the anchor of the whole story. <laughs> Susan, without Susan, <laughs> without Susan. <laughs> Something was wrong. I knew it was dragging. I knew it! What if Susan has a secret? misnomer is that like improv is easy and improv is not easy it's hard and you have to hustle a lot to to you know get places one day you'll feel like the smartest improviser on the planet and then other days i'm like what i don't know what this is like, why am i here what am i doing here and every single time you're gonna falter in one place but get stronger in another and then you have to go back and fix that thing it's just like i don't know it's a never-ending journey you never know what's gonna come out of your mouth you'll always hate you always hate yourself yep and, and you'll always love that's yourself that's just an actor thing though really we all yeah, you, you have to have yourself. you have to have a certain amount of self-loathing to be in this business let's just be honest <laughs> you have to fail so that you know how that feels over and over. yeah so that you can overcome it over and, over. and do it over and over i remember so many auditions i did within the first year of doing comedy in Chicago, and I wouldn't get anything. And I was like, this is... you, you, you start to think, should I continue to do this? Yeah. Am I funny? But what's kept me doing it for what, nine years now uh, is, it, pure and simple, is, is the fact that every once in a while you just crush it, and that I, I'll go through a year of bad shows to have one great one. The moments that I feel like a, like a crap improviser are because I am like, I'm checked out, I'm not present, I'm thinking about other things, and it has, it has nothing to do almost with the training and, and more to do with just like where can you put your mind um, you know, during your set and, and loving the people that you're doing it with. Some people stick with it and some people don't. I think sometimes it's not even a matter of talent, you just have to be tenacious in this business. It's not easy. It's a lot of work. Some people get it right away, and then some people get frustrated because they don't. You have to figure out that balance between how much do I want to treat myself as a business and how much should I invest in myself versus how much can I do this and to, at what point is it going to be worth it because you don't want to throw away a ton of money on classes and realize, oh, well I didn't like writing that much, I like doing acting, I like doing producing, that's thousand dollars that just went down the drain. 
my debt is like terrible, like terrible. Like I don't think I'll ever. No, yeah, and, and I think I'm going to watch my parents die working, which is one of the saddest oh, no. things like, that I can think. I, I wanted to be successful for them, but it just doesn't seem like it's it going to happen. It takes time. That's all it is, dude. It takes time. I'm turning 31 in two days. It doesn't matter, dude. Everyone's got a different path. It takes a different time. That's each what person. I've heard. It's heard. true. It's so true. Because oh, there's yeah. some people that we watch now and we're like, oh, they're so amazing. But they've been doing it for 25 years. You know what I mean? No, for sure. Not everybody who wants this can do this, which is hard because because we, you know, again, it's a community. We're invested in everybody who comes through that door. It's I can't think of an audition group where I didn't know at least half, if not three quarters, of the people people on stage in front of me. And do I want them to have their dream? You bet I do. Every single well, maybe like one guy I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? There's always one guy. There's yeah. always one guy. You please no. Um, but that's and I quite I've learned as an auditor not to say oh, but you know I've learned to just be like to to really just look at who's the absolute best. The closer you get to something, the less important it gets. When you took your first improv class, you thought, oh, that's amazing. Gerald is on a touring company in Second City. And then you're in a touring company in Second City, and all you're doing is like, oh, I wish I was on the main stage. You know, and the people on the main stage, I wish I was Tina Fey and I was a multi-millionaire who had my own sitcom, blah, blah, blah. Uh, as you get closer there to those things, they all just work. They're all just things to do. And if you're not enjoying the process of getting there, it's not a very good goal. At some point, it's just, no, you're here to do this with me. That's why we're doing it. It's tough, though. Tough to get there. I feel like now is the time, it's actually the best times of your life because you are basically an unknown, so you can just fail as much as you want. Oh, yeah. Pressure's not there for you, so. Live in the life, ladies. Live in the life. <laughs> So it's not even about who's funnier, or who's a better actor, or who is this and that. Literally, it's just hard work. Because we're all funny, and we all can do this job. There's 20 girls who can do my job, and I'm not pretending that that's not true. But I did work really hard. You know, I trained, and I, I took show opportunities, and I learned a lot, and got confident. I mean, oh, I was so bad at first. Maybe I am a little bit still. That's okay. It's a process, right? We've done all, all this talking so far, so I feel like we want to really untalk it. What's any what's what's something two people that you need two people to do? Well, you can't do it without two without more than one person. What's like an activity? Getting a Christmas tree. Like getting a Christmas tree. Thank you. Very okay, much. now I'm gonna just ask you this. Yeah. When you hear that suggestion, what goes on in your brain? Getting a Christmas tree. That it's that it's kinetic. That it's, meaning that oh, I'm gonna be putting my hands on an object in a moment. Okay. Yeah. And is it going to be a Christmas tree? Because that's where I would go. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> but we don't, but we can talk. I don't care. Like, we can take another suggestion and do a thing. No, no, no. I I, think my thing need... is I'm turning around and I'm putting my hand on one. I want okay. to use that suggestion like a gift. Okay. You know, I want to have it, you know, I want to make it present. Okay, great. Great? Yeah. It's great. It looks great, Kevin. I, t I said I want a three foot and... Yeah, looks usually really when you well, what? Usually when you make up your mind fast, you regret it. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Uh, Do I spin it a bit more? Yeah, spin it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a little. It looks like it like slap or something. It looks like it's yeah. this part is like one part's pushy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I, I mean, I think for the Christmas party, it's going to be fine. We'll just put it up against the wall. No, that's a good point. It's so not our tree, it's just for the cookie. Yeah. All right. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it's free. We can't be free. No. Ugh. Open the hatch. Okay. You open the hatch. Yeah. <laughs> this is awesome that these people are on vacation. <laughs> <laughs> it must be nice to be able to go away. Yeah. You know, right when everybody's at their most busy. <laughs> <laughs> they got beautiful stuff, don't they? You're right. Like, I mean, that crystal stuff, that is like really expensive. I saw that in a catalog. One of these glasses are like $450. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? 
I'm not going to. It doesn't belong to us. Take it. Take it. Take it. They're not going to know who did it. <laughs> I can't do that. You know what? Jimmy, it's Christmas. Give yourself a treat. <laughs> I look forward to seeing what happens when everyone realizes they've put in their eight and ten years and, like, are they going to stick to it? You know? Like, I don't know. I have to really make myself think about what I'm going to do when I can't work anymore. Uh, it's not, it, it, it can't even think about what I'm going to do tomorrow. Uh, I, I really don't care about the past and the future so much as, as the present and have it for a long time. I am going with the flow. I think that helps for me personally. <laughs> there's, no there's no point in I, planning. Right, you gotta improvise it all. I'm trying to stop myself from looking so far into the future because it, it's, things will change so quickly that every six months the, the future looks dramatically different than it did six months ago. But it's interesting how the things that you want change because of those experiences. And I think if you do look back and you're like, oh, I wish I'd done this, I wish I'd done that, you're still, you wouldn't be on the same path that you are on now. I really don't know specifically what's in my future. I'd like to be able to do this as long as I live. I'll do it till I die. I'll die on stage in a scene. And remember that episode of Futurama where Bender becomes a human? and they have the party around him and he died at the beginning of the party. It's gonna be me in a scene one day. I'm gonna die in the beginning of the scene, the show will keep going, and then all of a sudden it'll be like, well, that happened.